My name is Matt with Xerox. I'm one of the trainers. I'm going to go over your Xerox machine that you've received to show you some basics and uh, give you a good rundown of what you'll see on your day-to-day -day use. So starting out, this is your app page that you have. Um, and we're going to start with copy. So when we select that, you'll see that rather than having little tabs that run across the top or a bunch of columns on the screen, now everything's set up more of like a smartphone or a tablet where you can just scroll down to get to all the settings that you have available to you. And if you look, you'll see all of your defaults are on the right and then the machine setting is on the left. So if I wanted to change double-sided um, or from single-sided to double-sided, I just select that row and that'll give me my little pop-up so that I can change that from there. And mostly what you'll notice is a lot of your main settings are gonna be right at the top of the screen there. So you have your single-sided, double-sided, your paper tray selections, automatically collating, as you can see that's checked. Um, if you have a button like this, you just tap it to turn it off. You also have reducing and enlarging there uh, below the collated. And you'll just see you have a lot of image adjustments that you can make as you scroll down in this uh, menu. Uh, once you get all the way to the bottom of the page though, you'll notice you have a little reset button there. If you hit that, that will clear anything that you've changed and sends you back to the top of the page so you can kind of start over. So that's your copy application. But if you need to go back to the main screen, you're gonna hit this little home button here. That'll take you back to the main screen. Um, from here, you'll see you have your scanning option. So if you hit scan to email, you may have a device address book in there, you may not, but if you do, as you start to type in that address book, you'll see your name will pop up in there to show you that that's someone that can be chosen. So as you type, kind of like your smartphone, kind of minimizes the list of people that you can choose from. So I'm gonna choose my name from there. Um, if you don't have any addresses in there, you'll just type out that full email address. But once I've chosen my name, I can either put in a subject line from the top or from this little paper clip, I can actually rename the file. Um, I also have the option to change it from PDF to any one of these types. And then just like the copy screen, you'll see you have those same rows with the defaults across the right side that you just simply click in the row to change it. And then again, just like copy, if you go all the way to the bottom, you have your little reset button to clear it out and start back over. The next button you have is also your fax. Now yours may not say server fax, it may just say fax, but you basically just select your fax icon and immediately you'll get a keypad that pops up so that you can type out your fax number. Um, that is all gonna be based on your fax line if you have to type a one or a nine before the fax number, but you'll basically just type it out. And then once you type it out, just hit enter and then that will show that that number is ready to be sent to. So you'll load your documents in the top feeder, hit the little send button, um, and that will fax your document to that number. And then again, just like copy and email, you'll see you have it, that same list with your defaults on the right and the little rows to just kind of select each setting that you might have along with that same reset button at the bottom to kind of clear it out. So that is your applications, the main applications that you have there. Um, another thing that you do have the option to do is if you come into an application and you scroll all the way to the bottom, one thing that you'll see in here is a save option. So you actually have the ability to save presets into the machines. These are also shortcuts. So you can either save it as just a single preset or you can save it as um, a shortcut button on the main screen. So what I'll do is I'll show you if I hit save, I have the option for saving as a one-touch app or saving as a preset. So we're gonna create a one-touch app and I can name this whatever I would like. I'll say Matt's Scans, hit Next. You'll see it, you get a color option that you get to choose. You get to choose an icon. You can either review the settings or just start immediately. But when I hit Next, it just gives you some instructions and you can show the quantity and settings hit done and then you'll see that puts that button right on the main screen there um, you can also do that same preset for the emailing and for the the faxing so any presets that you want to create in there or if you have a user that's always sending scans you can create them a little one touch button or a preset so that they can um, immediately go to their shortcut and scan out to that option one other thing you do have is a secure print option. So from your computer, you will select on your print driver a secure print. It will prompt you for a pin code. You will be able to create that pin code. Um, it's based on what you want it to be. You'll send your print job over with that pin code and you will come into jobs. And then right in here, you'll see you have a personal and secure jobs. You select that 
and it will pull up an option with anybody that has a job waiting in there that has their secure print code attached to it. You'll select the job and then it'll ask you for your pin code, um, allowing you to release it or uh, delete it from there. So that is your rundown as far as your Xerox machine. Thank you for being here for the training today. And if you have any questions, you can refer to our YouTube channel, um, which we will provide the link for you as well. Um, and uh, you can go to that for any specific questions that you might have.